Good morning and welcome to our Kids Church Daily Bible Reading. You might like to get your Bible, a notebook and a pen or pencil. Pause the video while you do that. We are reading Paul's letter to the Philippians. Paul is writing this letter while he is in prison. Paul was thrown into prison to try to stop him preaching about Jesus and the Gospel. But the Gospel is still being preached, inside the prison by Paul and outside the prison by others. Some of those others want to make trouble for Paul, but this doesn't bother Paul because to Paul the most important thing is that Christ is preached. He doesn't complain that things are bad for him. Instead, he rejoices that the gospel is preached. Today's Bible reader is Annika Peters, who is in Rock at Kids Church. She is reading Philippians chapter 1 from the NIV. You might like to read along with her in your Bible or listen to God's words being read to you. My name is Annika Peters and I will be reading Philippians chapter 1 from the second half of verse 18 to the end of verse 26. The important thing is that in every way, whether from false motives or true, Christ is preached and because of this I rejoice. Yes, and I will continue to rejoice, for I know that through your prayers and God's provision of the Spirit of Jesus Christ, what has happened to me will turn out for my deliverance. And I eagerly expect and hope that I will in no way be ashamed, but will have sufficient courage, so that now, as always, Christ will be exalted in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, to live is Christ, and to die is gain. If I am able to go on living in the body, this will mean fruitful labour to me. Yet what shall I choose? I do not know. I am torn between the two. I desire to depart and be with Christ, which is better by far. But it is more necessary for you that I remain in the body. Convinced of this, I know that I will remain. And I will continue with all of you for your progress and joy in the faith, so that through my being with you again, your boasting in Christ Jesus will abound on account of me. Here are some questions to help you think about this passage. Pause the video after each question. You can think about it and write something down if you like, or talk about it with your family. Paul tells us what he hopes for in verse 20. What is it that he hopes for? For Paul, the thing that would cause him the most shame would be to deny Christ, to say Christ isn't the Saviour King, the Messiah and to agree not to proclaim Christ or worship him. Life would certainly be easier for Paul if he did deny Christ. It would certainly be an easy way out of prison, for sure. But this is the last thing Paul wants. He wants to exalt and glorify Christ, not deny him. Paul can see two options ahead. What are they? Look in verses 20 and 21. Which is better and why? Look in verses 21 and 23. Which is more necessary or fruitful? Look in verses 22 to 26. What will happen to the faith of the Philippians if Paul can spend some more time with them? Here are some prayer ideas. Praise Jesus, who is before all things and who holds everything together and whose name is above all names. Thank Jesus that he came and died so that we might be friends with God. Pray for courage so that whatever happens in our lives, we would not deny Christ. Ask God to help you tell people you know about Jesus. Spend some time praying now, either by yourself or with your family.